dog on the tucker box. <laughs> um, so we're at Gundagai, which is where the dog is. <laughs> bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can see <laughs> Wait, this more. So guys, pretty easy ride today. Just done, um, actually, how many Ks have we done? Let's have a look. Um, can't see that. Say so 772 Ks. So easy run on the highway, which is why we didn't do much filming today. Not real super interesting, but it was just a day to get one step closer to heading to Tassie. They were staying at Wangaratta for the night. Get out of the pub for a feed and uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty good day. Good day. There's Sean A just adjusting himself. It's always a sight for sore eyes. Steve O looking at his fat boy thinking, have That's I chosen fat. the right bike? <laughs> 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 Alright, well, we're gonna go and have some dinner. Fair and, enough uh, for his good. <laughs> yeah, better. So make sure you uh, subscribe, like, share, hit the button, and you'll get all of the episodes of Tasmania. It's gonna be fantastic. We can't wait. It's a bit of a bucket list that we're all ticking off. So yeah, see you on the road. Morning guys, had a great night at Wangaratta and um, yeah, back on the road this morning, heading to Geelong where we get on the Spirit later on this evening. Heading to Tassie, can't wait. So we're here at the um, Bakehouse at Glen Rowan, gonna suss out Ned Kelly's last stand, a few other things. Guys, we're here at Torquay, um, out at the point here. I was gonna try and get into Tucker Park here, but it looks like the gates are locked. So I don't, it's a bit of a shame actually, because it looks like a really nice park, but um, yeah, as you can see, gates are locked. I don't think we're gonna get in. So, I don't know what to do. What the? Well, here we are, in the queue, in the sun. Enjoying it, getting ready to get on the boat and head to Tassie. Steve is the strongest one here, got more muscles going to the gym all the time. Can't push his bike five metres. What's up with that? Seriously. Sean and I have been racing to the ute every time. <laughs> I've got him this time, I've got him on the line. Ah, oh, he's got me. We're here waiting. It was dry, now it's raining, so chucked in the wet weather jacket. It's gonna be wet all night, otherwise, we're gonna be quiet. Unbelievable. That's uh, Melbourne weather for you. Look at over there. Blue sky over there. <laughs> Not here.
sei se é. Chilly, bit chilly this morning. So we've had. It's not chilly. It's called bracing. <laughs> we've had. It's bracing. Yeah, right. Now. We've had we've had breakfast, and we've just come down to Port Sorrel. Is that how you say it? You reckon? Sorrel. Sorrel. Port Sorrel. Um, yeah. Might put the drain up if there's anything interesting. Line. The rain seems to be staying away at the moment. It's um, it's been here and it is wet, but anyway, <laughs> he just had to say it, didn't he? to Port Sorrel, I think is how you say it, or Sorrel. And uh, yeah, had a look down there. Currently in Exeter Bakery. If you're ever in Exeter, this is an awesome place to stop. Great food, great staff. Definitely highly recommend it. And then, um, yeah, gonna head over to uh, Richardson's, Harley Davidson, Longhaston, and uh, have a look around there. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what else the day presents. Anyway,
Sean, also known by his code name in the habit wild habitat, Gimbal Sean. <laughs> He's shy. You will find that if you start walking away, he will follow you. <laughs> No matter what angle you're at, he'll just keep following you, even if you trip over backwards. Again, can't take him anywhere, can you, eh?